Aloha. Have you heard bank ads like this? Super savers saving account deposit up to $9,999 and we'll pay you 0.01% APR. Deposit $10,000 or more and we'll pay you 0.02%. Are you kidding me? Of course, then the bank will take your money and lend it out at anywhere to 5 to 10% and more. Meanwhile, every time you make a deposit or make a withdrawal, they'll charge you a little fee, which means they'll get their 0.1% 0 .1, 0 .01 or 0.02% back, plus a lot more. And don't get me started on you know, fractional reserve banking, fictional reserve bank. Sorry, I, I had a vent there for a minute, but you can see how the bank owners get rich and richer and richer, yes? I believe this is the part that inspired Mr. Nash to coin the phrase infinite banking. No matter at what level you start your tax-free cash growth warehouse, eventually the cash value will grow to the point where you can actually become a hard cash lender. And if you aren't familiar with that term, it simply means that you loan money like banks do. So let's take a page from the commercial bank's playbook and practice infinite banking like an infinite banking pro. Certainly, hard cash lenders are sought after for other types of investments, but real estate is a particularly good one to consider as it provides solid collateral for the loan. House and property flipping has become fairly popular in recent years, and particularly since the advent of HGTV programs. And typically, there are those who teach the strategy also in form of the possibility to lock in a property and then flip it or wholesale it without ever dropping any actual money of yours on it. It can be a great strategy if you have all the pieces lined up. The point is there are many folks who are in the actual business of flipping properties. Some are builders and what they do is find an undeveloped parcel of land, buy it, and then seek hard money to purchase the needed materials and pay for labor in order to build a house and then sell it for a good profit. Of course, there are variations on that particular scenario. For this example, I am modeling a client who is a building contractor. He was financing his projects with money from hard cash lenders up until he learned the tax-free cash growth warehouse strategy. Now he is his own hard cash lender and self-finances with his tax-free cash growth warehouse account. <clears throat> For this example, our flipper will purchase a property that needs a good deal of remodeling or even complete demolition and then rebuilding. But it's the same principle. Here's the opportunity for the tax-free cash growth warehouse owner. Let's say the flipper needs $100,000 to proceed with the, with the project. You can leverage your tax-free cash growth warehouse inventory of cash and loan the money to the flipper. Now, in this scenario, the flipper is going to make a profit of anywhere from $30,000 to $100,000 on his project once it's sold. Typically, he'll be happy to pay a 10% fee on the money that you've loaned him. You want to make sure that you get that 10% or $10,000 for the use of your money. So you stipulate that if the repayment of your loan takes place any time prior to or up to one year from the, from the date of the loan, that $10,000 fee is included in the repayment. So your flipper is gonna repay you $110,000 at the very least, okay? And if for any reason the repayment is delayed past the one year, 
you'll charge an additional 10% APR and prorate at simple interest for however many additional months it takes to repay the loan. Additionally, you would wanna be named on the property deed in case the flipper defraud, defaults on the loan. In that case, you become the owner of the property and can sell it yourself. Of course, you would probably wanna see the property before lending the money for the project to make sure it's a viable project and that you would be satisfied with the ownership of the property in the case of default. Without even going through the numbers, I'm sure you can see that this is a profitable deal. But let's take a little bit of a closer look at the numbers anyway. Your cash inventory is growing at 6% compounding within your tax-free cash growth warehouse at the current dividend interest rate, tax-free. And you'll pay a 5% simple interest on your policy loan. And you're charging 10% interest on the fee on your loan to the flipper. Considering only the $100,000 in use here, you'll earn $6,000 tax-free on that money from the warehouse account provider that is your tax-free cash growth warehouse. You'll pay $5,000 in interest on the loan, and that's simple interest, which is a business owner's, as a business owner, it's a tax-deductible fee. You're ahead by $1,000 right there, and you'll also save $5,000 as a business expense on your income tax because of the interest you paid for the leverage loan. You're going to gain $10,000 as a result of loaning the money to the flipper. And there's a good chance that money will pay to you in less than a year. If so you're making more than 10% APR. And if it takes more than a year, you get your money back you'll still earn 10% APR because you have that written into the loan agreement with the flipper. Or you'll become the owner of the property and make considerably more than 10% on the sale of the property. Altogether then, you make $1,000 net on the money you borrow, $10,000 on the money you loaned, and save $5,000 on your taxes. That totals $16,000 you gain on the $100,000 or 16%. Yes, you'll have to pay either capital gains or income tax on the 10,000 fee that you earned from the loan that you made to the flipper, which is likely gonna be $1,000 to $2,500. But in the worst case scenario, you come out ahead by 13,000 $500. Do you see why bank owners are wealthy? And what a great and easy way to grow your wealth? When you become a hard cash lender, you'll want to incorporate as a business. That will enable you to deduct the interest you pay on your policy loans from your income taxes. Definitely confer with your CPA about that to fully understand how to set up your hard cash lending business. Now, this example was taken directly from chapter three of my book, Tax-Free Cash Growth Warehouse, Nuts and Bolts. Both of my books are on this strategy are available on amazon.com. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel. And be aware that most insurance agents are not able to properly design an account for use with this strategy. They must be working with a provider that offers participating whole life, that allows for the special writers that supercharge the cash value growth, and they must be willing to take up to a 75% cut in pay in order to provide these specially designed accounts. And of course, they have to know how to properly design the accounts. 
All of our contact information is in the description box below the video here. We're here to help. So take action. Let's set up a time to talk about how you can become an infinite banking pro. Aloha and mahalo for watching.